Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I'd like to share with you how you can get Google reviews. More so, how you can get Google My Business reviews to stick. What is most important with the Google reviews? What words need to be used? Is what used? What categories should you be using? And most of all, a technique that no one else is going to share with you. You see, this app video comes about after speaking and consulting with a client regarding Google reviews and a past agency that was being used that used to get the massive amounts of Google My Business reviews, Google reviews. Now, with that being said, I want to give you that strategy that is often used. I'm also going to give heed warning to the strategy but it is something that's being implemented. I'm going to share that with you today. But let me go ahead and break down some of the key elements that you need to make sure that you're watching out for in order to keep these reviews sticking because the objective here is to give a element of trust to a potential prospect, a customer, in order for them to feel confident with your services and products. Now, with that being said, let me walk through what's going to be the most important for your business, and then I'll give you the strategy that no one else will share with you that might be a little bit grayer hat, but hey, I want you to be in the know, all right? I want you to know exactly what a lot of these agencies do, what a lot of these freelancers do, and I'm going to give it to you today. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing that I want to keep in, and I already did a preliminary search <clears throat> I have steak on the brain for some reason today, but in any case, I, I did a quick search for Steakhouse New York. Now, I want to share with you a few things. One of the first things that I always make sure to make sure that my reviews stick, if, if we're doing a grayer hat campaign for reviews, one of the first things is this. How the reviews are written matters. So it has to be fluid, all right? It, it has to be a real review. It has to be written in a way. So generally if, and I'm going to talk about two things, gray hat, white hat, I'm going to give you both sides. Okay. What you decide to do is up to you. I'm here to give you the information. All right. So in any case, uh, how they're written and, and generally if I'm in one niche and I'm operating in say New York, I'm going to go look elsewhere for reviews that are written very well. So I would come into here and how you get them to stick is we'll come into here and we'll say, okay, this is a very well-written review. We'll take this, we'll, we'll mark it down maybe on a notepad because we know it's already being shown. It's already prominent. It cannot be the exact same, but it's almost like spinning content. We know that we have a well-written, topically relevant review. So we're already going to take something that's being showcased and we're going to optimize it to fit our business. So that's going to be tip one right there. If we're running a grayer hat campaign also, if we're looking at this from a white hat stand uh, standpoint, if we're going to be asking our past customers, you want to give them a little bit of gui guidance in the timeshare business. We call it coaching. You're going to want to go ahead and coach them exactly what maybe they should be writing or at least something similar. So that's going to be tip one. Let's keep moving on. So the next thing is this. All right. I want you to take a look what's most important and, and what you're going to see here. And I want to show you something. What's most important is repetitive words that are words of trust, that are words that are directly equivalent to either your categories, subcategories, or the services or products that you offer. So if you have your products or services listed on your Google My Business profile or corresponding website, these words need to come up in conversation in your reviews. So these words in your reviews matter the most. They carry weight and I'm going to prove it, but I want you to take a look here. So often you're going to see the words that are bolded and I've covered this before, but I want to take it a step further. I have a little bit better tips I want to give you. So see these words that are bolded. So when you're weaving or crafting your reviews to coach to your prospects or you're running a gray hat campaign, either way you're doing it, you want to make sure it's words of trust. So here's a word quality and it's going to be words talking about the product. It's LSI terms. These are most prominent for your reviews. For reviews, it's LSI terms that are talking about your services or products, also words of trust. Now let's take that a step further and each and every industry is different. So look at your competitors, not only in your city or state, but look in other cities and states to gather up some of the LSI terms and or relevant keywords 
for your reviews. So I just looked up this one. As you can see, these bolded words go through his reviews, go through some other reviews. So when you're crafting your list, like this, so we've already gotten this one relevant one and we're making it, we're weaving it to be the perfect review. Now with that said, I want you to keep this in note. You want to get your brand in there, words of trust, LSI terms, and also you want them to be repeated by multiple customers. Now, let me go ahead and show you this. It only works on the phone, not necessarily on your PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my listing that's on my phone and I want to share something with you because this is important. So if we take a look here at my listing, let me see if you guys can see this. Oh, shoot. Maybe I can get it like this. Let me go ahead and show you something. All right. So if you come into Mayan and let me see if I can get it to because it's too bright. But what you're going to see, go to your business profile on your phone. All right, go to your profile on your phone. I want you to take a look at this underneath where it says Google reviews. There's gonna be some stars. It's going to give you your star summary on your phone. Underneath that, inside these buttons, you're going to see multiple words that are showing up. These are words that are being repeated by your customers. Multiple customers have said the same words. So much so that Google is actually going to outline this. This starts to be what your business is about now. This is what I'm getting at in crafting a good review. Under Mayan, what is highlighted is knowledgeable YouTube, SEO expert, rankings, information, understood, and then there's a small little number by it on everybody's phone. Go ahead, check it out on your phone, maybe not now, but after. This is what Google's looking at your reviews. Multiple customers are saying the same thing. So what do we want to craft in our reviews if we're running a white hat or a gray hat campaign? I'll tell you, words of trust, the LSI terms that are bolded and the services and products that we have listed inside of our Google My Business or corresponding website. We need our reviews to contain these words over and over talking about our brand and we're gonna craft it to be exactly what our business is about and the products that we offer. This is most important, it's very crucial, so much so that Google is going to outline it for you. So we have, we have a couple pieces that we're able to put together. One. We need multiple customers to say the same thing, talking about our business. It also wants to be about our products, services, and, and the quality of our service, or what I call trust words. Now, if we go back to the computer, come on back into the computer, it's down here. Take a look. So again, I want you to remember the LSI terms stand out. These need to be in your reviews. They also need to be well written. So if gray hat or white hat, you can coach your customers. Or if you're doing a gray hat campaign, what I would highly recommend is going to get one that has already been showcased within Google. Take that, add in your LSI, words of trust, and also make sure that it's repetitive for your product services and what you offer and make sure it's repetitive for trust words. All right, I think we covered that. Let's get into a strategy now. I have to, I want to tell you this. All right, when we're talking about reviews, it's a, it's a touchy subject, all right? You know, give me one second. Let me turn my light back on. Give me one second. Got a new light. I really like it. I got it used, you know, but I really, really like it. It's really cool. My daughter likes to use it for her makeup. <laughs> She's down here. But anyway, <clears throat> with that being said, um, now if, if, if gray hat does not interest you, then this video is over. I've covered some very key elements that no one else has talked about at all. They talk about the review link and sending it through email, but they don't talk about coaching and having them written in a certain way, which is the most important. What's the use of me going through the trouble if they're not going to have a impact on my business? And I want to say this, all right, as we move forward into the more grayer hat, I have to start it off with a heat of warning because according to the uh, FCC, are reviews, are fake reviews illegal? Not really, but kinda. So I want you to make sure that you do your due diligence before running any campaign. The reason why I'm telling you this is because again, I've had multiple clients, multiple clients come to me from past 
SEO agencies that have ran these campaigns. So not only do I want to give you the information, so hey, if you decide to do this, you can, and I want you to be safe. But secondly, if you're working with an agency, I want you to know exactly what they're doing and what you're getting into. All right, so let me go ahead and walk you through this. So again, take a look at this stuff for yourself. Here is the search term FCC, are fake reviews illegal? This is important to know. Go ahead and take a look at the rules and regulations. But with that said, let me give you the educational standpoint of doing a gray hat campaign for maybe increasing my reviews. Or if you're working with an agency where, man, they sure are doing a good job. I'm getting a lot of reviews. Let me show you one of the ways that they're doing this. All right. So we've talked about the white hat way, the great hat way, coaching, the words, LSI terms, trust words looking for the bolded terms and also repeating our products and services and words of trust so much so that Google starts to think that that's what we're about so much so that they point it out to us because it's been repeated by multiple customers. This is so key. Trust me, take a look, get your numbers up, get your stats up. You'll be so much better off. So now we're getting into the gray hat portion. So how do you do it? Right? How do I get these reviews to stick? We talked about that a little bit in, in the beginning, right? It all starts with a well-written review. This is essential. The next piece is, is there any session history, log history with the account? Google browser reviews seem to stick a little bit better than say a brave review. And I'm sure you've seen this or an LM or a, you know, an emulator review, you know, past used session logged browsers with history, they seem to stick. Local guide accounts are only made up of about 10% of all Google accounts. So that's not the angle maybe you want to go. We just will need a normal Gmail account. We need a normal browser history. You might want to buy one that's six months old, add some session logs in there. So now we're, we're starting to curate a good Google account. Okay. Maybe you go buy 50 of them. They're 25 cents a piece. And, and I'm telling you this because a lot of guys are a lot of these campaigns charging five, $10 per element. There's also <laughs> services out there where it's like $300 and we'll run it and all this crazy nonsense. I'm, I'm going to give it to you right here. So we have our browser, we have our session logs. All right. Um, the next step is, well, we need certain IPs right? We, we don't want to use our home browser. We don't want to use IPv4 shared proxies. We don't want to use data center proxies. We don't want to use IPv6 proxies. Mobile proxies are cool, but they're kind of expensive. So what's our best option for getting a mass number of IPs at a very fair price? Well, the best thing that I have found is what I'm looking for is a service such as this. So rapid VPN, I'm not promoting them by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> This is just one. There's bunches of them. But what they offer, if you take a look here, here, Rapid VPN, this is residential uh, VPN. You're looking for res, here, take a look at Rapid. So this is one that I have used in the past. I don't recommend their service. I'm just showing it to you, right? Um, residential whitelist IP from Verizon Century residential IPs through a VPN seems to be the most cost effective way to have residential home people leaving reviews on session log history browsers written naturally because we've already gotten them from another business in a different state, added words of trust, <laughs> added in our key elements all right, we're, we're, we're crafting the review to actually be worthwhile, not only from a sticking standpoint, from all, but also from a quality standpoint and a way to lift our business. So if we take a residential IP and then we're looking for a phone verified account, GMB, right? You know, have your, have your look, uh, generally maybe it's like a PVA account right? Uh, I don't know, PVA Google accounts, right? Phone verified account. Uh, this is one, it looks like a crappy site, but this is one I've used. Yep. I've used this dozens and dozens and dozens of time go with the cheapest. So now I have my Gmail accounts. They're six months old. 
I use them for a little bit, right? I'm, I'm getting the log history up so I can get a decent account. I go and gather up my reviews, reviews that could be used as either a way to coach white hat people who actually used my service. I say, hey, something like this. Or if you're gray hat, you can use that. We know from looking that Google is valuing multiple people saying the same thing. What I have found from other businesses is I don't want them just repeating the same thing, but I want them to be repeating my services, my products, words of trust, and my brand name all multiple times. And aside from that, within the reviews, I'm also utilizing, again, words of trust and also LSI terms. This is gonna help you achieve more reviews faster, cheaper, easier. Um, and, and, and I just wanted to share with you what these agencies do, what you're paying for a lot of the times. This is how it's done. And I also wanted to point out that, hey, go and look at the regulations, you know, um, to see if, I, I'm, just point, I'm just giving you the information, all right? So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope that maybe it has opened your eyes if they've been shut. I hope that it's given you ideas and opportunities. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to Google My Business, Google My Business Reviews, local SEO, digital marketing, Facebook ads, white hat, gray hat, black hat, it doesn't matter. If it's digital marketing or business related and you have a question, feel free to ask in the comments below. And I most certainly look forward to seeing you in the next How to Get Google Reviews, Google My Business video. Have a wonderful day.